Welcome to the Triangle Proportionality Theorem Lecture Part 2. The learning target is the same as the first one to understand the relationship between the length of a triangle. The success criteria, the two new ones, is to use proportions to solve for a missing side of parallel lines and also apply the MIG segment theorem to find the missing length of a triangle. Let's start with the expiration. How are these similar and how are they different? On the left hand side, you see the theorem from part one. That's given um, lines that are parallel uh, on a triangle. We saw that their sides are proportional. AM divided by MB is equal to CN divided by NB. If you look on the right hand side, you see parallel lines. It's no longer a triangle. What do you think? how they're different and how they're similar. Okay. One thing that you should notice is that the lines are parallel. So line L is parallel to M, which is parallel to N. So if that's true, then you could create the proportionalness of it. So the side of AB divided by BC is going to be DE over F. They're the same. So you should see that their proportional um, nality is the same given the parallel line. It doesn't always have to be within a triangle. It just has to be within um, two parallel lines. So the core concept here is given three parallel lines and they intersect by a transversal. That transversal is the line that goes up and down then the segment intersects on the transversals or proportional. So AB is going to divided by BC is equal to DE over EF. Okay, these are the line segments on the transversal. If you like to see it with numbers, it looks like on the right hand side, five divided by four is equal to 10 divided by eight. That's the core concept on the three parallel lines. Let's do an example problem. A reflection pool is separated by parallel walkways. So here's the walkway. It, I'm going to indicate that to show that it's parallel. What is the distance of the unknown side of X? We see here that it's separated by a um, parallel line. So this could be one more. And we saw that then we could set up the proportionality. So here's the solution. 60, which is the long side, divided by x is going to be equal to 72 divided by 24. Same process here. Cross multiply 60 times 24 and x times 72 then we divide by 72 to both sides you get x equals to 20 feet so this behaves like the triangle next i would like you to give this a try it's the same pool but now you're looking for the y value a reflection pool is separated by a parallel walkway. I indicate the parallel lines right here. What is the distance of the unknown side of Y? Pause the video, give this a try. Here's the solution. 24 divided by 60, which is this side, is equal to Y divided by 72. That's the other side. Cross multiply 24 times 72 is 128. Then you do 60 times Y gets you your 60 Y. So this is not X, this should be Y. Okay. So divide 60 to both sides, divide 60 by both sides, you get Y equals to 2 28.8 feet for Y. Good. So that's it for the um, triangle, the three parallel lines. 
Um, now we're going to move on to the next part. We'll start well off with a letter expiration, okay? What do you think is the length of the line that cuts a triangle right at the midpoint? Here we saw that this is 14 inch, uh, what 14 inches. And we're going to cut this right here, right in the middle, right at the midpoint. So the midpoint is referred to as the middle. What do you think the length is here? Okay. It is considered seven, seven inches. Why is that? Well, it cuts it in the middle, so it's going to be half of it. So notice that this line is half the long line. Right? You could also talk about this as the base, right? The long base of the triangle. All right? So now we can write our core concept. If a segment joins the midpoint, so this is the segment. These are the midpoint. Two sides, the left side and the right side. Then the segment is parallel to the third side is half as long. So here, this is half as long. Okay, so the long one here is 10. So this is, again, half as long long there you go so you could see the equation just like this the base is normal which is just um, BC and DE is gonna be half as long so you could write that as uh, one half so DE is uh, oop, did I write this one wrong DE is one half BC so if you want to solve for uh, BC, it would be 2BC equals to 1DE. Yep, sorry. Yep, that's right. Okay, is that correct? So DE, hold on. DE is, no, 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 no. I got it confused. Ah, no, that's right. That's right, because, hold on. BC is 10, right? So if you put 10 here, right? And yeah, that's correct. Oof. DE equals to 1 half, 10. And this becomes 5, right? Yeah, okay. So the theorem was correct. Okay, there was no mistake. All right, so let's do this problem. You're going to find the length of QS. Um, so it's here. We saw that QS is going to be equal to one half of uh, the long side. Okay, the long side here is 10. So QS is going to be equal to one half times 10. Gets you the answer of 5. So this has to be 5. Very straightforward, but again, make sure you're able to con construct the equation and plug in the correct answer. All right, now you could practice this. Yes, you can just do mental math, right? If this six, six, if this is 16, the short end will be equals to eight, All right? Here's the equation, P, which is the short end. So the short is equal to one half, the long, right, side, okay? And you get P equals to eight. Here, this is 14. So this is the long end. So this has to be equal to 28. Okay, here's the math. 14 is gonna be equal to one half, the long side. Multiply two to both sides, you get 28 equals to Q. Okay, these are very straightforward problems using the uh, mid-segment theorem. The next one is actually what you're gonna see when you work on delta math. So here's the triangle. We saw um, triangle BCD is cut with right here, this the mid segment here. And you got EF equals to X minus one. And BD is four X equals to 16. Remember, this is the long side and this is the short side, short leg, uh, short line, okay? So if we set up the equation, we know that 
the short is going to be short line or short side is going to be equal to one half the long side right that's how we're setting up the equation right here do you see that okay so how did i get here okay so let me go over this so what i do is i try to get rid of the one half by multiplying by two so i can say that two times the short line is going to be equal to the long side so starting this i got this equation there you go so right this this is two times the short equals the long okay then we did some math distribute uh, so 2 times x is 2x 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 and everything else remains the same subtract 2x to both sides you get negative 2 comes down 4x minus 2x becomes 2x bring down the negative 16 add 16 to both sides then you get 14 equals to 2x you have to divide by 2 to both sides then you get x equals to 7 are you done no, you have a value of x. The question asks you to find a measure of BD. So you have to plug it back in. So x equals to neg x equals to 7. That's what you have on the previous problem. But you know that BD right here is equal to 4x minus 16. Substitute in the x. So this 7 equals to x gets plugged in right here. That's how you get 4 times 7 minus 16. 4 times 7 is 28 minus 16. You get BD equals to 12. And that is your final answer because that is what you're looking for. Okay? All right. So that's it. That's all your problems. Uh, for the, um, the hardest ones to do when it comes to the mid-segment theorem. All right?